Okay, so breaking down major scales into diatonic chords. Um, and this is something you need to understand before tackling the 251 improvisation stuff. So let's just look at a couple of major keys. So C major. Now within that scale, there are six triads, triads being three note chords, okay? These are chord one, C major, chord two, D minor, chord three, E minor, chord four, F major, chord five, G major, chord six, A minor, and chord seven, B minor, flat five, okay? We'll come back to that one in a minute. So, if we do the same thing in G major, okay, this time, chord one, G major, chord two, A minor, chord three, B minor, chord four, C major, chord five, D major, chord six, E minor, chord seven, F sharp minor, flat five, and then we're back to chord one, okay, and the pattern is always the same, this is major minor minor major major minor minor flat five back to major okay g in do the same thing in g major minor minor major 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 minor minor flat five and back to the chord one major so the pattern is always the same so if you're just starting to do this what i'd recommend is playing them and saying the chord number say or think to yourself the chord number and the name of the chord uh, so you get used to the fact that chord one is a major chord, chord two is a minor chord, you know, for example, uh, chord seven is a minor flat five chord. So, yeah, so when you're practicing it, what I'd recommend is, is actually say to yourself, chord one, C major, chord two, D minor, chord three, E minor, chord four, F major, F major, sorry, <laughs> yeah, chord four, F major, chord five, G major, chord six, A minor, uh, chord seven, B minor, flat five. So if we do that in G, chord one, G major, chord two, A minor, chord three, B minor, chord four, C major, chord five, D major, chord six, E minor, chord seven, uh, F sharp minor, flat five. And I'm back to chord one, okay? And then you get used to the fact that it's exactly the same, whatever key you're in. Uh, in all 12 keys, the pattern is always the same. Uh, and just to come back to this last chord, so chord seven in C major, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, B minor, flat five, okay? Now, if I play chord four of G major, one, two, sorry, chord three of G major, one, two, three, now this is B minor, okay? And this chord that we were looking at in the key of C major, is B minor flat five. So you can see what the flat five means. We've flattened this note. So here's a normal B minor. Here's a B minor flat five. So obviously we can do that with any uh, minor chord. So you know, C minor, C minor flat five will be this. Uh, F minor, F minor flat five will be this. That could make quite a nice tune, couldn't it? Digressing there. So, continuing, um, once you've got that, the next thing to do is to understand uh, the diatonic seventh chords. So, now we're going to play all these triads again, but with their natural sevenths as they occur in the scale. So, in the key of C major, we're going to do chord one. Okay, now this is now chord one is now C major seven. Okay and it's a major seven because the seventh is the seventh note of its own major scale, okay? C, there's the major seventh, and the major seventh is always a semitone away from the root, so you can think of it as chromatically one note away from the root, okay? So, there we are, a major seven chord. It's got a major third, it's got a major seven. Next chord, chord two, D minor seven. Okay, so it's minor, and this time you can see that the, uh, the seventh is flattened. It's not chromatically one away um, 
from the root. Okay, the root now being D. So D minor seven, chord three, E minor seven again, minor third, flat seven. You see, it's a whole tone down from the root note. Okay, uh, chord four. F major 7, just like the first chord, we've got a major 3rd and we've got a major 7, you know, so that comes from, you know, F major, there it is, the major 7, half step, semitone, chromatic, away from the root, okay, now chord 5 is um, G7, or to give it its full name, G dominant seven, we normally just call it G seven when musicians are talking about this chord. You know, they would say, can you play a G seven? They wouldn't necessarily say, can you play a G dominant seven? But its full name is dominant. There's only one of these chords in every major scale and it's chord five, all right? And you can hear the sound of it. It's really different to the others. Here's some random major seven chords. They sound like that, okay? These dominant chords sound like this. So it's a more pushy sound, and it's a sound that wants to resolve, ideally to chord one, but it could resolve anywhere. You know, we can go anywhere with these dominant chords. Okay, they can go anywhere. But their natural thing that they want to do is resolve to their own chord one. So C major, diatonic uh, chords with the natural sevens. C major seven, chord one, C major seven, chord two, D minor seven, chord three, E minor seven, chord four, F major seven, chord five, G seven, or G dominant seven. Chord six, A minor seven. Chord seven is still B minor flat five, but now it's got a seven as well, so we call it um, B minor 7 flat 5 and again that's a flat 7 just like the other minor 7 chords okay so let's just run the same thing in, in the key of uh, G so it's exactly the same pattern again chord 1 G major 7 you see that chromatic 7th chord 2 A minor 7 you see it's got a flat 7 this time chord 3 B minor 7, it's got that flat 7 again, okay, and you notice it's different to B minor 7 flat 5, which we had in the other key, which was this, okay, so back to the key of G, here we have chord 3, B minor 7, chord 4, C major 7, it's got that major 7th look, just a semitone away from its own root, chord 5, there it is, that's the dominant chord, that's the pushy one, only one dominant chord in every, in every uh, major key. So, chord 5, D7, it's got the major 3rd, but it also has this flat 7, it's not like D major 7, which would be. Okay, so there we are, D7, um, chord 6, E minor 7, and then of course, chord 7, same again, F sharp minor 7. Flat five, F sharp minor seven, flat five. Okay, so those again. So major seven, minor seven, minor seven, major seven, seven, minor seven, minor seven, flat five, major seven. Cool, okay, I'm gonna do another video talking about two five ones and how to actually make some music with this stuff.